The prisoners at the largest U.S. prison in Afghanistan have refused to leave their cells for at least the past two weeks to protest their indefinite imprisonment. The prison-wide protest, which has been going on since at least July 1st, offers a rare glimpse inside a facility that is even more closed off to the public than Guantanamo. Information about the protest came to light when the International Committee of the Red Cross informed the families of several detainees that scheduled video teleconferences and family visits were being canceled. Representatives of the Red Cross, which monitors the treatment of detainees and arranges the calls, last visited the Bagram prison on July 5th, but inmates were unwilling to meet with them. Ramzi Qasim, an attorney for Yemeni national Amin al-Bakri, said detainees are protesting being held indefinitely without trial or legal recourse. Unlike at Guantanamo Bay, where detainees have access to lawyers, the 620 prisoners at Bagram are not permitted to visit with their attorneys. Afghan government representatives are generally not allowed to visit or inspect the Bagram facility. As Guantanamo comes under increasing scrutiny, its detainee population has stayed about the same, with the last significant prisoner transfer occurring nearly three years ago. Meanwhile, the Bagram prison population has ballooned. U.S. officials are building a bigger facility there that will hold nearly 1,000.